With a crowded field of candidates running for the U.S. Senate, and the crowd is getting bigger. Yet another candidate joined the race today. New Center 7's Jim Mott is at the State House, showing us the field of candidates running to replace outgoing Senator Rob Portman. As of today, on one side of this race, just in the Republican primary, there are six candidates in the running. The newest one works right here at the State House. He's a state senator from Northeast Ohio. I have a long record of getting involved, getting positive results for Ohio, and uh, it's clear that that's what Republicans want somebody to go to Washington and continue to do. Matt Dolan enters this race with his competition already out on the campaign trail for several months, some of them well known, like former state treasurer Josh Mandel. Then there's author and investor J.D. Vance, former Republican Party chair Jane Timken, and two Northeast Ohio businessmen, Mike Gibbons and Bernie Moreno. All of the other candidates have been out working to get former President Donald Trump's endorsement pushing hard on his agenda. Dolan instead is promoting himself as a conservative and practical problem solver. He was the sponsor of Governor Mike DeWine's anti-violence legislation in the wake of the Oregon District shooting. In our interview today on Zoom, Dolan told me people in the Miami Valley can relate to his work that gets results. I've spent a great deal of time in the, in the Dayton area, in that whole Valley area, but not just as a potential candidate and now a candidate for U.S. Senate, but as a public servant trying to work with them to create an economic engine for the city of Dayton. The winner of the Republican primary will face the winner of the Democratic primary next year, either Congressman Tim Ryan or newcomer Morgan Harper. And the crowd of Republican candidates in this race could get even bigger. Miami Valley Congressman Mike Turner is still giving this race a look. The filing deadline is not until February. At the State House in Columbus, Jim Adi, New Center 7.